I've literally evaluated collections that are property of some of the very most well-known individuals around, ranging from property that belonged to former presidents to uh, people such as Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, Andy Warhol, uh, Duke and Duchess of Windsor, but I've also evaluated things that belong to people who no one would know the names of. Took place all within a very decorative order, and it's telling the story of the Monkey King. The monkey. I knew from an early period of time that I was interested in the fine and decorative arts. When it came time to go to college, this was one of the night, one of the one of the first places that came to mind. Well, University of Tennessee always held an important part in our family's history because one of my direct ancestors was a man named Alexander Kelly, who was one of the original trustees for the university. So throughout our family history, we had a number of people who attended the university, including um, my parents, who were part of the University of Tennessee system. So it was always a place that I felt attached to as a young man and wanted to be a part of. So as an alumni of the University of Tennessee, I've always wanted to be you know, able to assist in various ways, and my skill set is with fine and decorative arts. And so the opportunity to participate here at the university using something that I know about through the McClung was just a real blessing and something that I was proud to be able to do and delighted to be able to do.